Hi, I'm Mike Bradford, and this is the wonderful Stuff Waffle Iron. With this device, you can cook Belgian style waffles with your favorite foods right inside of them. Now it just takes four easy steps to cook a wonderful stuffed waffle. First, mix your batter and prepare your filling. You can use any batter, whether it be from a package mix or a homemade recipe. It can be gluten-free or whole wheat. Just follow the directions as if you were making a typical waffle. Now it's important that if you're stuffing your waffle with meat or something that needs to be fully cooked, you should do that as part of the prep process. While you're preparing your batter and filling, go ahead and preheat the stuffed waffle iron on medium low heat. You'll know that it's ready to cook when water flicked on the waffle grids quickly evaporates. Once prep is done, you can begin filling the stuffed waffle iron. Remove it from heat and grease the bottom pan. You can use a spray or apply oil or butter directly with a silicone brush. Pour enough batter into the bottom pan to completely cover the waffle grids. Next, add the filling. Cover with batter until it just reaches the top rim of the center pan. Grease the top pan, close the unit, and then flip it to allow the batter to be evenly distributed inside. Low and slow is the thing to remember when baking your stuffed waffle. Because of its thickness, you need to give it time to cook the batter all the way through. And if you use too high heat, the outside will burn by the time the inside is cooked. Cook on medium low for six minutes on one side, then flip it and cook it for another six minutes on the other side. During the baking process, you can visually inspect doneness by slightly lifting the top pan. In addition, you can check interior doneness by inserting into the stuffed waffle a cake testing probe, a toothpick, or the tip of a butter knife. Now that your stuffed waffle is fully baked, you can remove it by placing your thumb and fingers into the finger loops like so, and then lift the center pan from the unit. Release the stuffed waffle by separating your fingers like you were opening a pair of scissors. Now this is an extra large stuffed waffle. The stuffed waffle is large enough to be cut in half or quarters to share it with others.